Hi there. This is my Oculus Drake guide, a comprehensive guide on how each Drake works, how to play them, and how different comps will work for getting the achievements. This will be a reference video to my complete Heroic Dungeon achievement guides coming out soon. There are three Drakes you can choose from. Ruby is the Tank Drake, Emerald is the Healer Drake, and Amber is the DPS Drake. You can choose one after killing the first boss. They'll put an item in your bag that you can click to summon the Drake you picked. Ruby Drake. First ability is Searing Wrath. This is basically a chain lightning. Ability two, Evasive Aura, allows you to generate evasive charges by tanking spells. Ability three, Evasive Maneuvers, spends evasive charges to dodge all attacks and spells. Ability four, Martyr, redirects all harmful spells cast at friendly drakes. General playstyle is to have Martyr up the entire time, spam Searing Wrath, and then Evasive Maneuvers when you're getting low. Hopefully you have a healer to top you up whilst you're immune. Emerald Drake, Ability 1, Leeching Poison, poisons the target, leeching health to the caster every 2 seconds for 12 seconds, stacks up to 3 times. Ability 2, Touch of Nightmare, consumes 30% of your health to inflict damage on a target and reduces the damage it deals by 25% for 30 seconds. Ability 3, Dream Funnel, a channel that transfers 5% of your health to a friendly target every second for 10 seconds. Your general playstyle is to keep three stacks of your poison on a target, have Touch of Nightmare up on the target, and then heal your team whilst maintaining those poison stacks. Amber Drake, ability 1, Shock Glance, deals damage and detonates all shock charges on an enemy, increases damage by 6,000 for each shock charge detonated. Ability 2, Stop Time, stops time for 10 seconds and puts five shock charges on enemies affected. Ability 3, Temporal Rift, Channels a temporal rift on an enemy for 10 seconds. All damage done to the target is increased by 100%. Every 15,000 damage done will add a shock charge to the target. General playstyle, use your time stop ability when the boss enrages. Since multiple people will most likely have the drake you want to communicate with your fellow amber drakes. If you don't have team communication and everyone is just doing their own thing, which is fine as well, use temporal rift if nobody else is doing so, otherwise spam your shock glance. DPS is a little more complicated. Here is a quick demonstration of how Temporal Rift and Shock Charges work. Drake 1 starts to channel Temporal Rift. Drake 2 starts to spam Shock Glance. Drake 1 is empowering Drake 2's Shock Glance damage by 100%. Every 15,000 damage Drake 2 does is enough to generate a Shock Charge for Drake 1. Drake 1 keeps channeling until they have the maximum amount of Shock Charges on the boss, which is 10. Now, before Drake 1 detonates their shock charges, Drake 2 now wants to begin channeling Temporal Rift. This is so the boss has the 100% damage debuff, and Drake 2 can begin gaining shock charges. Drake 1 now uses their shock glance. This does well over 100,000 damage, and instantly gives Drake 2 10 shock charges. You can keep repeating this, just make sure someone is channeling Temporal Rift when you detonate your stacks, and if you have no stacks, make sure you're channeling Temporal Rift. This is how the 5 Amber Drake run is achieved, except instead of there being 2 Drakes, there are now 5. So have one person channel Temporal Rift at the start, wait for them to gain 10 stacks, and then the other 4 begin channeling Temporal Rift. Drake 1 detonates, now all 4 of them instantly gain 10 stacks. Drake 1 Temporal Rifts, they detonate, etc, etc. The boss will sometimes go immune, simply fly around away from the orbs, and you'll be fine. You'll have to start again from the top, but you got this. To get the achievement for no Amber Drakes, have three people choose Ruby Drakes and two choose Emerald. If you're playing like I stated earlier, your Ruby Drakes will be tanking, and your Emerald Drakes will have their three poison stacks up on the boss and heal the team. Repeat this for reset three, but have your Ruby Drakes swap to Emerald Drakes and your Emerald Drakes swap to Ruby Drakes. This way, if you've kept the same team, you will all get the experienced Drake Rider achievement. If you're just pugging, pick whatever Drake you want. You can kill the boss with every combination easily enough.